This is the all new 6th generation C-Class. In fact, after the E, this car is the most important for Mercedes in India. Now, in this review, we're going to talk about the ride, the handling, the interiors, the comfort, everything. But before that, Adil is here and he's going to take us through the lineage of the C-Class. Very important thing. This is, as has been the case before, is the baby S-Class. And the new generation, 6th generation C-Class continues this thing. There was no C-Class as such when this baby came out. It, in fact, it was the 190 and the 190E. The two W201 and the W202 series never came to India. But the W203 was the perfect car for Mercedes-Benz India to have as an adjunct to the E-Class which it had. From there, the W203, 4 and the 5 really encapsulated Mercedes-Benz India's strategy to have a car going across the range and now we have the new two w206 the moniker of the baby s is carried on very well i think it's time to really get cracking with shirish on the mountain roads around masuri let's go Adil. The new seat, it's based on a reworking of the earlier generation's modular rear architecture. But of course, the platform has become bigger. So there's more in terms of the wheelbase. It is longer, it is wider, the tracks have become wider. The suspension, the basic layout is the same. So it's got double wishbones up front and a independent rear. But of course, it has been reworked. The anti-roll bar settings have been reworked. The spring and dampers have been retuned. And it is definitely noticeable, especially in terms of ride comfort. Now here on some of these broken patches, the improvement in ride comfort is definitely evident. The earlier generation, it was a bit stiff. But here, the ride quality improvement, it really is noticeable. This rides over these broken roads really well. So one of the main reasons why people buy SUVs is because of the ride comfort and the ability to go over bad roads. Now the ground clearance has gone up by a small bit but it has gone up by a small bit. But in terms of the ride comfort on bad roads, this C-Class definite improvement, definitely much better. And to deal with the horrible roads that we have in most cities, this thing will now cocoon the backseat occupants so much better. In terms of handling too, the improvement is definitely noticeable. It flows much better now. And because the suspension, it has got a little bit more in terms of compliance. It doesn't get thrown around by mid-corner bumps. So it's more flowing, far smoother. You can get into a nice rhythm over these winding roads. The steering too, very well calibrated. Not too heavy, not too light. We've stuck it in dynamic mode right now. And the weighting is perfect. It doesn't take effort out of you, but it also gives you good feedback, good response. It is eager and responsive. And I must talk about this powertrain. First, let's talk about the gearbox because it shifts so smoothly, so unintrusively that you always seem like you're in the right gear and it doesn't upset the car, especially when you're hustling it. When you want a little bit more in terms of engine braking, you want a little bit more in terms of performance, like right now, when you want to make an overtake, you just step on it and it goes. It responds really well. This is the problem with these narrow hill roads. You have to be really careful. But when things open up, you can really hustle it. You also get paddle shifters for the steering wheel. And the steering wheel, it is adjustable for reach as well as rake and electrically. We'll come to that when we talk about these really cool interiors. But I must point that out because it's rivals and even the earlier C-Class didn't have that. Not on all the variants. The improvements of the dynamics, seriously commendable. 
more suited to our roads and also more enjoyable the dampers now they call these adaptive dampers but they're not really adaptive dampers the suspension responds differently to different frequencies so if you go really hard over bad roads it responds a little differently from when you're tackling mild bad roads and it has a whole load of adas features so collision mitigation collision avoidance tells you when people are crossing the road but honestly with our conditions with our roads and especially over these winding hill roads it just beeps and bombs all the time so best is stop where's the settings assistance switch off the active brake assist switch off there just too many unpredictable elements in our country the c class is the first model range in mercedes benz's lineup to feature fully electrified powertrains now i don't mean that these are evs but all the engines the petrol as well as the diesel it gets the mild hybrid tech so it gets the 48 volt system along with the integrated starter generator and that gives a boost in power as well as in terms of torque plus it gives you better fuel efficiency now what we are driving is the C220D this engine is bound to be the main volume generator because it has performance it has economy and it is very very refined as well so now the total output is 200 horsepower that is 197 bhp and the total torque so 440 newton meters of torque that goes up by another 200 newton meters so the claimed 0 to 100 kmph time is 7.3 seconds plus you get 23 kmpl that's the fuel efficiency so this is the most fuel efficient mercedes benz that you can buy and 23 kmpl that's really good fuel economy and that is extremely torquey so going uphill dealing with all these narrow windy roads the car feels so effortless you're always in the right gear that's also because this 9g tronic gearbox is a very smart intelligent gearbox the other powertrains on offer is the c200 petrol and you get the c300d it's the same four cylinder 2 liter diesel but with a higher power output and you get that with the amg line styling kit which looks really cool and speaking of cool things i must talk about these interiors Mercedes they call this the baby S and this is no marketing speak because this is exactly like the S class but shrunk down to the C class proportions it's phenomenal if you think about it this interior is way superior to what the E class currently has so you get this floating digital cluster you get this huge tablet style infotainment screen out here the menus the os the operation is similar to what's there on the c class it's unbelievable how good it is honestly this sets a new standard for infotainment for interiors for tech in this class nothing and i mean nothing can hold a candle to it i even like the inlays out here it sort of looks like a pin striped suit but i think it looks very cool and modern and i love the fact that there's no wood inside it though adil might disagree but i think it's so much younger cooler mercedes they're definitely moving the game on in terms of their interiors can you imagine you're getting almost s class kind of interiors out here this how can you not like this it's phenomenal and the quality phew, untouchable untouchable you even get these touch controls on the steering wheel the C300D it gets that AMG line steering wheel which looks fabulous fully loaded everything the seats electric you get a nice low driving position if you're buying a car if you're buying a car you want a nice sporty driving position and the C class it delivers it it just puts you in the driver seat it just sounds silly that i'm saying that because i am in the driver seat but you're just so connected with the car and driving a car on a hill road it's just 
so much nicer than driving in an SUV. The C-Class has grown in every direction. But let's toss to Adil who will tell you about the backseat comfort because that is also an important aspect in a car like this. One of the good things about the new C-Class from Mercedes-Benz is the packaging engineers along with the uh, overall dynamic guys have increased the wheelbase by 25 millimeters, slightly more than an inch and that manifests itself with 21 millimeters of more space for the rear benches and I think that's a very very good thing because this is a car which has got tremendously high levels of ride quality it doesn't jar it doesn't what you call shake up the people at the back the seating position is really uber cool the panoramic sunroof adds another dimension into that and by and large has got enough and more of elbow room tremendous headroom even for a six footer which i'm not but it can accommodate that and it's a pleasant place to be in From baby Benz to baby S, what a journey it has been for the C-Class. And the C-Class embodies everything which is what Mercedes-Benz stands for. Comfort, convenience, character, classiness. This is the new sort of standard in this segment of car from Mercedes-Benz in India to further embellish its hold on the luxury segment of the Indian market. 